Hello, I'm from the Australian Government with a final message before the election. This could be our last ad, unless you re-elect us, which would be a miracle after all we've done these past three years. But here at the Australian Government, we believe in miracles. And the one we're praying for hardest this election is that most of you are too busy trying to make ends meet to remember all we've done these past three years. Under the leadership of our prime marketer, ScoMo, or as his colleagues call him, Liar, hypocrite, fraud, complete psycho, and absolute asshole. As well as a fine array of ministers like Susan, Minister for No Duty of Care over young people, and Richard, Minister for No Duty of Care over old people, Minister for People Who Are Not Blessed, Minister for Saying Labour Will Drop the Ball on National Security, Minister for Dropping the Ball on National Security, Minister for Not Letting This Family Go Home to Billow, Minister for Santos, Minister for Woodside, Minister for Cosplay, Minister for Integrity, Minister for Bagging His Own State During the Pandemic and Losing His Seat to an Independent. And of course, Jenny, Minister for Reminding Complete Psycho to empathise with rape survivors. We've delivered on the economy. Unemployment is down and corporate profits are up. What's that? You can't afford food, fuel and rent due to the rising cost of living. Oh, sweetheart. That's because your wages haven't gone anywhere since... What a coincidence. Since we've been in office. That's not a flaw. It's a deliberate design feature. So get back to work, Australia. Those profits aren't going to make themselves go up, you pieces of shit. But hey, don't forget the those breadcrumbs and tax cuts we gave you. Well, rich people got a tax cut. Low income earners will get approximately... Fuck all. And the rest of you will end up paying more tax once these cuts expire just after the election. Australian government putting the end back in cuts. Speaking of huge cuts and handouts for those who don't need them, Jerry got a shit ton of your money via JobKeeper. Which is how we pissed billions up the wall and then told you it's labour you can't trust with money. Of course, when we heard Jerry's profits doubled, we let him keep your money. But if you got some of our way below the poverty line benefits, we came after you until you paid us back or killed yourself. Australia, where we cut your kids' disability funding without notice. And we pay aged care workers fuck all to look after our elders. In an aged care system, the Royal Commission called a national disgrace. But we found billions for subs we won't get, debts that don't work, and tanks we don't need. Where we cut funding for unis and schools. Public schools, that is. Private ones got shit tons more. Where if you can't afford rent because of the rental crisis, we tell you to just buy a house. And if you can't afford a house because of the housing crisis, we let you raid your own super. So when our housing bubble Ponzi scheme implodes, you'll lose your retirement. So when you do retire, you'll probably end up being neglected and left to die in pain in one of our aged care homes. So as you can see, wherever you are in life's journey, we've made sure you eat shit from childhood to old age. But we've also achieved that in other lesser areas, like women. women. We bullied this one into resigning. Jizzed on this one's desk. Covered up an alleged rape in Parliament House. Exonerated this guy with a sham investigation. Exonerated this guy with no investigation. And then failed to attend any of the nationwide protests we inspired. Fired. But hey ladies, at least we didn't shoot you at those protests this time. First, First Nations. Nations. We had nothing to say about all the deaths in custody under our watch and said some cringe shit when we should have said nothing. Our history coach was on leave that day. National, national security. security. We established ourselves as the greatest threat to national security by leaving you unprepared and exposed to deadly floods and fires. Climate. Climate. We made bullshit ads to sell you bullshit technologies that don't reduce emissions so we can prop up the industry that's worsening those floods and fires. COVID. COVID. We inflicted unnecessary pain on you by not listening to experts. Not fixing quarantine. Not getting enough vaccines fast enough. Not shutting the fuck up. There and Australians taking wickets in the virus. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving thousands of you stranded overseas. Undermining state premiers at every step of the way. And then taking all the credit. And lastly, corruption. corruption. We know you're sad we broke our election promise for a federal ICAC, but you can blame Labor for that. It's their fault for not supporting our alternative, which is just like an ICAC, except it can't take public tip-offs, can't hold public hearings, or investigate corruption. Corrupt conduct. Which means it wouldn't be able to investigate how we rorted this fund, this fund, this fund and that fund. How we appointed our mates to the appeals tribunal. Or how we paid ten times the market value for land that just so happened to be owned by our donors. Cool and normal. And on that note, we bid you fuck you Australia. It has been an honour to not hold a hose. Not hold investigation. Trash your reputation. Shirk the blame. Shake your hands. This bullshit. And smirk as your homes burn, towns flood and reef 
Eve Stye. Of course, when faced with all this shit fuckery, some of you might be thinking of voting for Labor or for one of the many not shit independents and candidates lining up nationwide to kick us out. But why do that when you have a clear choice this election between us and a government you don't know? And say what you will about us. At least you know exactly what massive pieces of shit we are. Australian Government. Authorised by the Department of Genuine Satire. Thank you for watching Season 2 of The Honest Government Ads and to all our patrons for making it possible, especially our patron producers. Fear not, whoever wins this election, Honest Government Ads will be back with Season 3. So if you'd like to help us keep governments honest, please support us on Patreon. Thank you. Now go out and vote.